we'll be taking a look at the Bergen half inch drive ratchet and sockets uh, in one set. Uh, it does also include a, a small uh, extension or a mid size extension in there. This set is obviously one that's going to be chucked in the in a works toolbox or bag. So obviously this kind of uh, ratchet and socket set which we're seeing a lot nowadays on the plastic uh, kind of hanger thing is probably more ideal for that uh, scenario than another great big box full of sockets or you know loads of uh, rails with sockets on and um, throwing a ratchet in uh, singly. That is one way uh, you could have gone about it but uh, this way it's a little bit more compact for a small toolbox or small uh, tool bag. So we'll take a look at that. Outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Well, we've got uh, snow, bad weather at the minute, so we'll have to t see if we can uh, take a look at these uh, inside the shed. See, somebody, some bastards left me uh, a message in the table. Okay, because of the uh, the snow outside, we're going to have to try and take a look at this indoors. Hopefully the uh, the lighting is adequate enough. I've opened the blinds of the doors uh, open. It is daylight. I put the lights on in here as well, but um, sometimes that doesn't uh, necessarily help. I will have to switch to put this uh, camera down on um, a tripod as well to uh, take a look at some of this we can see if we lay this out horizontally we can get it more in picture um, it is a Bergen half inch uh, drive socket set it's a socket set that's um, all in one uh, and one of these plastic um, mounting um, pieces now this is one that's going in my uh, in my work bag or box if I choose to use a plastic box but I think we knew the Amtec bag that we looked at before is uh, you know pretty much what it would be going in um, the number for that is 1254 and like we say half inch drive socket uh, set with a half inch drive ratchet obviously to fit the uh, the socket 12 piece set and uh, you do get an extension as well you get a uh, 125 millimeter extension which is pretty much exactly the same as the 125 millimeter um, in the three piece half inch drive uh, extensions that we looked at um, I did notice it was the design is exactly the same with the two uh, recess bands on there on the um, where my thumb is now and the knurling isn't isn't as deep and it was it looked like it was about a millimeter shorter than the one in the set but they've tried to get the design exactly the same so and it obviously comes from the same place but we'll have a look at that in depth in a minute um, but it's 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 not it's not exactly the same um, one that, that they've the job that they've uh, put off that was in the uh, the extension set, but it's it's pretty identical. It's just the slight differences what I mentioned. So uh, first and foremost, we'll uh, we'll take, actually I'll just take a look at the actual casing, the extension um, holds into these like loop blue plastic loops here which are actually part of the moulding of the blue um, clips that clip onto the sockets on this one here and this one back here so they're kind of linked so um, that small space where it can slide up and down um, you know they're kind of linked together so uh, if, you, if you pull that down and you pull that down and then pull that down they can't it kind of moves together with this one coming along with the ride in the middle kind of thing um, you can see there you see where it's joined to that 
that um, socket there and that one is joined to that one with that one just to, see if you can move it there you go you can see what I mean it just moves along um, see they're just separated on that plastic rail that runs along there but it kind of when the extension comes into play you've uh, you know it's joined then across the two I don't um, know yet whether to cut this bit off this um, the hanging part here off or not and I just was really you know you can get a bit of extra space you could cut that off across the top there and just have the uh, just have that rail there to hold the uh, ratchet the extension and sockets on then you don't really need that extra space there in a small in a small plastic um, toolbox that would probably be a good idea in a tool bag again it would still save space it might not be necessary it might not be necessary in that Amtec one that I've got um, I was going to get a um, a quarter inch one like this as well uh, but obviously the um, that quarter inch set that we looked at before in the generic tools um, is just ideal for that I mean it's only at the, it does come in a case but because it's quarter inch it does come in a case it's virtually about as as big as this and a little bit thicker um, with, with both so with with both sides closed obviously the top and the bottom uh, and you know a little toolbox that big is not going to go um, it's not going to go and miss in a tool bag uh, in quarter inch so that was that was fine could use that for that but when it comes to half inch and three eighths um, drive I think these were the better option you did have the option or I did have the option of just buying a separate ratchet on its own because I have also got the um, the, the packs of Bergen um, three eighths and half inch um, that we looked at before. I bought another lot of them for the for the tool bag and the quarter inch. Um, so I've got a, f a full set of um, extensions anyway. So I didn't really need um, the extension. But another one there is um, you know you've always got a spare one or an extra one's better than better than nothing. Better than not having it there, I suppose. If you're going to pay that money, um, I have the three eight one. I ordered um, a Nielsen because I was going to, um, you know, the, the only other way to do it would be to have a separate one, like I say, uh, ratchet. And because I've already got the extensions, I didn't really need to bother about that. Um, they're already there, and um, you know, a pack of Bergen three eight inch um, sockets, uh, you know. A full selection of those, and they could be, um, you know, your main uh, your main set. Or because I got a pack of those Nielsen adapters that we look, looked at before in there as well. You know, most of the sizes that you'll use. We'll get to that in a minute. Most of the sizes what you'll use uh, more than likely are here for, for this kind of drive. You know, kind of for this kind of drive range. Um, metric but there are some missing obviously you haven't got the, a full set of uh, metric sockets there on the side they are only metric uh, you don't have no imperial there on this um, another way of doing it would have been like I say to get a separate uh, get a separate ratchet in 3 8 use the adapter use the adapter for these sizes uh, up to half inch uh, with a more because the, I'll be honest this is fairly um, large this ratchet and it is you know um, going to be ideal when it comes to those big you know if you if you've got to refurbish machines for if that's your job or something like that is you know something that'd be more my kind of thing or you you've got to replace a part that's that, that's been on there for a long time on the bigger sizes like on the um, the 24 here and, the, and that kind of size range then you know a nice bigger half inch ratchet is 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 needed, you know. Um, so you're better off having a half inch and 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 some adapters, um, you know, for a three eight. Uh, should 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 we say to, to use your half inch sockets and also can use a step down 
uh, to use the quarter so inch sockets in the lower ranges um, than the not having a half inch set like this and just having a making do with the three eighths because some of the bigger rusted up um, bolts and some of the old refurbished machinery that on my um, I have to deal with um, sometimes don't fare, fare as good with um, a smaller three eighths inch drive uh, mechanism and uh, drive piece so uh, it is better for me to buy this one first the th the, th the three eighths one that I have however is obviously I'd have had to have bought them on a rail the three eight sockets um, you know I might have, might have to have cut the rail in half depending on how long it was um, to get it into a box or, or, or a bag um, the uh, Bergen ones they do do a three eighths exactly the same as this but I ordered the Nielsen uh, set yeah they probably more than likely come from the same uh, factory as we've already discussed before with everything else but the Neil what the Nielsen set had was an almost full um, set of sockets you had another set you had a row at the back like this and a row on this side and it went up to um, it went up to 22 I think it did um, in total uh, metric 22 so uh, well this goes up to 24 on this one so well uh, you know if I need a 24 I can always use a you know a better drive for something that size the half inch anyway uh, I can all, as well I can always use it with an adapter if I really need to on the 3 8 say if I need to use it as a spare if this gets damaged or something but um, we'll take a look at that Nielsen one when that arrives um, next time around but uh, I've actually spent a long time now talking about this. Let's get get into the. I uh, probably have to edit a bit, a little bit of that out. Let's get into the uh, the actual ratchet itself. All right. Okay. We take a look at the actual half inch drive ratchet itself. Um, now this ratchet is fairly big. Don't let the uh, the video fool you. Um, it's a lot larger than a, a three eight inch drive uh, ratchet. You can see you got the uh, the usual Bergen logo stamped on the uh, handle there. The handle design um, it's quite quite classic. Round feels quite nice. It's not going to be uncomfortable for. Uh, you know, work shift or whatever if you're using it a lot. Um, it's going to be relatively comfortable. I'll say the head is exactly the same as the uh, the half inch on the stubby Bergen or the, the Bergen US Pro stubby ratchets that we looked at before. It's exactly the same head, exactly the same. Um, mechanism that we see on there if you can hear the uh, the ratchet mechanism itself it is a 72 teeth 72 teeth uh, mechanism obviously if it's the same as the stubby and it's also exactly the same head and mechanism as the massive um, extra long half inch Bergen uh, ratchet that we looked at and I uh, reviewed before that we have in the toolbox so um, if you can't find a, a repair kit for the mechanism from Bergen or an older one that Bergen might have had that's on eBay or something like that and you, you can't find one I haven't exactly looked so um, Although some of you that know this ratchet that may have been made at the same manufacturer with somebody else may know that they have a kit that will fit exactly the same uh, ratchet. That's fair enough. That I wouldn't be surprised if uh, that's the case because a lot of these ratchets are made with different stamps on for other manufacturers. So it's possible you can get a kit for it from somewhere else for their uh, ratchet. But, um, you know, if needs be, and this or say the extra long ratchet or anything like that but we're talking about this at the minute 
you know you need to repair this mechanism because it's exactly the same as the stubby uh, ratchet in the US the Bergen US Pro set we looked at they do do the stubbies um, sell the stubbies singly on their own on their direct uh, Bergen direct UK website uh, so you could in essence buy a cheap stubby on its own and just uh, take the uh, mechanism out and swap it over and put a new one in there for a f you know for a round of five or anywhere so you could always find a new mechanism if you really wanted to that being said Bergen ratchets even this one um, are not that much anyway so you might find you'll be able to get a whole new Bergen ratchet that would uh, if go in with this set um, relatively cheaply anyway without having to look to replace the mechanism but that's uh, the ratchet. You've got you got one Torx at the bottom, two on the top to uh, get at the uh, the pulls and the mechanism there. You will have to do that to uh, lubricate the head on uh, the mechanism on this head because there's no um, direct access holes on it whatsoever. You got your reverse switch, and again, it's a quite nice pressed um, or designed switch. Some you, sometimes it's just a real thin piece of pressed, cheaply looking pressed uh, sheet metal that you get on a lot of uh, ratchets, even a lot of more expensive, high quality ratchets. Um, I've got like a thin piece of uh, pressed sheet metal on there that with like a rivet thing that's holding it on. You know these. I've said before. You know they've gone to a bit of effort with these and they're not too bad these switches and the action's not too bad either and of course you've got your basic quick release on there for releasing your uh, sockets And that's the basic uh, ratchet. The ratchet itself, um, not too much play in there. If you put, um, obviously, if you're going to put a little bit of an extension on there, and you might be able to pull the uh, extension, but you're going to have a little bit of play from the bearing, the ball bearing when it's in against the uh, the detents anyway, a little bit. So you can't really judge that. But if you look. If you look at the quick release button, as you can see there's a slight, slight play when you wobble that around, but not much. So it's it's it's, it's a relatively, um, relatively good one. I expect that uh, ratchet to quieten down when you actually oil it. Uh, when you oil the ratchets, especially the cheaper ratchets, they do um, they do tend to quieten down a little bit more and sound a little bit more nicer feel a little bit more nicer so that's something to take into uh, consideration the uh, oh, there. the uh, extension like I say uh, is 125 millimeters uh, we just try and see if we can zoom in the knurling on there again like the three piece half inch drive set but not as deep not as good. Um, it's, it's a lot lighter. The uh, the, the Nerlin band on that one. It's not it's not as uh, pronounced, but uh, it's there nonetheless. Slightly different stamping as well. The Bergen chrome vanadium uh, position like that. Um, exactly the same design on the head though. The two bands. Our usual factory uh, our usual factory um, radius and uh, detenting.
spring loaded bearing or ball bearing. Not too bad. That's the finish on the uh, the male end. So pretty much the same thing. I did notice that it, was, it seemed about a millimetre shorter than the one in the in the three piece half inch Bergen set. But it's relative, and like I say, the knurl is uh, slightly lighter cut on this. Not as grippy, but um, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. You can tell it's come from the same place. It's just obviously a, a, a different um, set off of what of, of what they've done. The uh, the socket. You have to give them a real wiggle to get them off. take the smaller one off of the set so you can see actually this is the first half inch um, Bergen sockets that we've looked at the finish on these ones is actually quite nice and I won't be surprised if it's slightly different to the finish that we usually see um, let me just take that off I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually different to the finish that we usually see on our sockets because it looked to, to the eye it does look to be uh, a little bit more chromed than the usual Bergen sockets in the blue packs to me but uh, again we've got our usual fonts that we that we see this, this isn't the uh, this is the the thin version of that we see on the font this is one's exactly the same as on the Nielsen Zion um, sockets there the, the usual font that we recognise is, the, is the, sort of the thicker font that they do um, but I do also recognise this thinner font uh, when they haven't got as much space so the sockets themselves the smallest one you've got is a 10 millimeter. the biggest one is the 24 and it goes from 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 21 and then the 24 so you don't get a 22 or anything else in between the 21 and the 24 so you know then they'll miss a few sizes out there's no 12 which is uh, something I find odd but I'm sure it'll be a size that I'll have on my uh, 3 8 um, set it's also a size that I've got at the moment um, you know in an emergency with the adapters that I can use from the quarter inch I can step down to quarter inch um, or just use my quarter inch shirt uh, set at 12 anyway um, at the minute in a, in a, you know in a work situation so um, it's not that big a deal we've got our usual uh, knurling pattern that we see on the Bergen sockets and our usual recess near the bottom again the same um, at the female end is what we usually used to With our radius and the detents. The bigger one, we'll take a look at the bigger one. Oh, there we go, they like a bigger one. Again, you see on the female end. See the chamfer base. I'll be honest, they do look quite nice, and like I say, these are the first half inch ones that we've looked at. The band and the stamp, the recess. Like I say, it goes up to 24. So look inside the, uh, inside the sockets. Did we take a look inside the? I uh, don't think we can uh, get that close in the ten. Actual brooch in there. That was the uh, the ten millimeter. I don't think we looked at that. Let's see. And like we usually do for good measure, take one of the uh, the mid size ones.
of a set, but it is very, very difficult to get these off. And it might be easier to take this one now, but... There we go. Yeah, and there's one of the mid-sized mid uh, sockets. Again, the same design, basically. Put the brooch in. So yeah, all in all, they are quite nice sockets. To be to be fair, they uh, you know you'd expect them to fit the ratchet that they come with, but um, you know just to make sure you know they do all they do all fit the drive size um, well. So a bit of oil on that ratchet and um, it should be fine, quieten down a little bit more. Half inch drives are usually quite loud anyway because there's a bigger cavity so you get a bigger echo throughout that cavity don't you, so um, that's the thing there. Like I say, another thing that I found is this uh, on these uh, clips that they hold on the piece in the plastic in the middle there between the back piece and this top piece where they connect does seem to have like a, um, a whitish blue, well a lighter blue uh, coloration when you actually pull them off like it's uh, you know it's actually straining I don't know whether that you know if you have if you've ever bent plastic you'll know what I mean um, when it when it comes under stress so I hope that doesn't uh, actually snap off in the future because it'll it'll mean that I'll have to use a go and use a rail uh, anyway anyway to put them on and I might as well have done that to start with so uh, you know um, I suppose I could just leave the odd uh, the odd socket or two in, in in the side pocket in the bag until that happens I suppose but um, the whole purpose of buying this kind of a set was because I think personally that it's uh, it's better than um, you know a massive. You can't buy put a massive socket set in there. When you put separates uh, in there, you know, uh, then you have to either buy a rail or get sockets on a rail, um, which usually come in a full set, which are usually a lot longer. So you have to cut them up uh, with a hacksaw on the rail and put them into you know two separate p uh, pieces and whatnot. Um, so personally, I think this would be the best these type of uh, plastic uh, socket set kits would be the best um, for my kind of scenario or that kind of scenario of a work bag or a little work toolbox cantilever or a plastic plastic uh, carry carry handle box um, but that's basically it about this uh, Bergen half inch socket set um, number one two five four you can buy the uh, the ratchet, like I say, you can buy the ratchets on the Bergen website. These actual ratchets, if that's all you're interested in, or you need to replace one, um, it gets damaged. You could probably fit any um, any half inch ratchet that you've got or that they do in here. I would have thought they would have clipped, you know, it's designed for take a half inch drive in there, and that, that clip's fairly big and it is uh, does bend back uh, either side so I would have thought you'd be able to put anything even with a, you know, a square handle or anything in there and it, would, it would still fit fine, you'd still have your Bergen extension and sockets on there but that's that's basically it about the thing, like I say I don't know whether to, to hack saw that off for, for extra space or not at the minute but uh, you know that could be something you might want to think about doing ok when it comes to the actual mechanism itself on the half inch Bergen ratchet like I say, you've got the two uh, long, slightly bigger torque screws on the top and the one little one that fits just in there. That then will um, will lift off. You'll need to do this now to oil it, which is what I'm going to do now. Uh, but 
if you have a look uh, we can see if we come into the light a bit more here if we uh, have a look in there you can see your um, your poles there where they engage and you throw the switch see if we can come a little bit more towards the door where there's a little bit more light see inside there actually it's quite funny to note that once you've actually removed one of the top screws you do actually end up with um, a little hole look you can see the light come through on either side which would work in exactly the same way as the little the little screws sometimes uh, little holes that you sometimes get on the back uh, that you can use to lubricate anyway so you may in hindsight really all you need to do is, un is pull out, undo and pull out the top two screws and pour some um, oil or some lubricant through those uh, scr uh, screws in future uh, but we'll take the actual uh, mechanism out and have a quick take a quick look at that you just uh, Interfere too much with the um, with the balls at the minute. There we go. We just take that mechanism out. You see, there isn't much. Uh, we just take that mechanism out. We can see that there isn't much um, grease or oil or anything of that nature. Um, on that gear whatsoever so there you can see it so that's pretty much exactly the same as what the inside of the uh, half inch stubby US Pro Bergen and um, the Bergen extra long ratchet that we looked at is going to be exactly the same as that so they would all be interchangeable if you can't get any spares but, uh, I just put a drop of oil in that. Um, well, I, I tend to use some old, um, to some four-stroke motorcycle oil. Um, it's it's not all that old, but it, I, I periodically change my motorcycle's four-stroke oil. You know, and that tends to do a, a good job. Um, the stuff that I save tends to do a good job of um, lubricating the ratchets better than any. Uh, you know, three-in-one oils and thing and uh, things like that. I do have some um, lithium grease there as well that could probably be used. You do sometimes get some of that white grease come back out uh, on on your hands and on uh, leak out of the um, the sides. So that lithium grease, but um, this is just some general for, uh, four stroke. Okay, so that's the Bergen half-inch drive socket set number one two five four that we've taken a look at today